Grand strategy is, is an attempt by the political leadership to uh, both articulate uh, uh, and uh, effectively uh, coordinate uh, uh, both the government uh, and the people, uh, which it represents, um, toward some crucial important goal. Uh, um, it's usually thought of in terms of uh, a fighting war such as the grand strategy of the United States or Great Britain in World War II. But it's also, it does not have to uh, uh, involve war. Uh, we won the Cold War without uh, fighting the Soviets. Uh, um, and so American grand strategy involved uh, the political support and economic support of its, uh, our European allies and allies elsewhere in the world. Uh, uh, and a number of other complex responses uh, to uh, what was perceived quite correctly as a Soviet threat. Somehow we've got to address the fact uh, uh, that uh, we are historically ignorant of not only the rest of the world but our own history. And uh, um, I see this particularly in terms of current debates in Congress uh, um, uh, uh, and in the political framework within which politics are taking place today. That we're, not, we're not understanding, if you will, what the past suggests about today's problems. Our educational system needs to address, if you will, um, uh, the problems of history much more coherently and intelligently. Um, we also need much more emphasis on understanding foreign cultures and foreign languages and not in that kind of politically correct nonsense of, of uh, thinking that other cultures are all wonderful and, and we're bad. It, it comes down to understanding that uh, um, other cultures out there in the world are fundamentally different than ours.